My name is Mar- Martin Chandra Vinata. I've been working for Caltrain since 2006. And then actually in 2007, I started working on this project on the Bay Bridge. The new year brought personal and professional success to Chandra Winata. He and his wife, Winnie, have learned their two-year-old daughter, Chelsea, will be getting a brother or a sister. The Caltrans engineer had just completed his work on the new Bay Bridge. As an added bonus, his five years of taking photographs documenting the construction of the bridge led to this art show at MTC. His mother and uncle flew in from Indonesia to witness the honor. Three of his photographs have also just won 2013 honors in a 100-year-old trade magazine, Engineering News Record. Yeah, that one uh, it was early morning. Like um, uh, I came to work and it was foggy, and yeah, it was it was beautiful because I can see like the fog kind of disappears a little bit, and then you can see the city skyline. This photo here, uh, this is the inspector. They are uh, inspecting the uh, paint. You can see like they start taking down the catwalk too. This worker also um, he is caulking um, the cable band so to prevent waters from coming in. I remember. Um, I didn't expect the pictures to be like this, but when I press the button, I hear like the, like a boom sound, and actually just like the sparks came in. So it was the good timing. <laughs> I was born and raised in Indonesia, and then at 16 I moved to United States. Uh, I joined exchange student program, and then I went to college, the University of Alabama at Birmingham, and I chose civil enge- uh, civil engineering as my major because I wanna built bridges actually. That's my dream to build a bridge. In college he got a job at a local paper. They trained him how to use a dark room to develop film. He paid $65 for a Pentax P30 and started documenting engineering with photography. Please hold on. When he helped build the people mover at SFO, he documented the construction with his camera. When he was assistant project manager on the construction of the St. Regis Hotel, he took pictures. Wow, I mean, this is like a good combination. It's like a peanut butter and jelly. When he got his master's degree at UC Berkeley and began working on the Bay Bridge project, he tagged along with a photographer documenting the bridge. And when that photographer retired, his boss, William Shedd, assigned him his dream job, working on the bridge and documenting its daily construction with his camera. In five years, he says he took an estimated 50,000 photos. So Bill, what's your, what's your favorite photograph here? My favorite? Well, Martin, there are too many favorites. <laughs> it grew beyond that from the sort of contractual risk mitigation measure of having a weekly photo diary of the project um, to something more artistic to lining the halls of the MTC building. Pretty yeah, cool. something that I never expected, but yeah, I'm glad I did it. Me too. <laughs> When I look back, um, I can show my um, children, my great-grandchildren, and also um, I want to inspire uh, young students who want to become an engineer that, you know, um, they can work hard, study hard, and build something like this, like this bridge. On the Bay Bridge Project, Mark Jones reporting.